Hey everyone, today I'm going to SPD, Society of Physical Disabled. A few weeks ago, I passed them some watercolor paper to get them to bind into some watercolor sketchbooks. And those sketchbooks, they are ready. So today I'm going to collect them and after that, maybe sketch around the neighborhood. All right, the sketchbooks are here. Let's take a look at them. So I have four small ones and one large one. So this is the watercolor sketchbook that is bound by SPD. The binding quality is excellent. Now this material is something called buckram. It's something like canvas. It's very tough, very durable, and it's waterproof. So the papers used in this sketchbook, they are the indigo art papers, 100% cotton. This paper is quite similar to the Cardi papers sketchbook that I featured before on my YouTube channel. The original paper had decked edges, those are ragged edges, but here you can see with this sketchbook, all the sides are cut very clean, very neatly. Now this sketchbook has 40 pages, 20 sheets of paper, with the original pack that I bought, inside there were five large 16 by 20 inches of watercolor paper and that was cut like this and then um, bound into something like this. So this is 20 inches, this is 8 inches. So this sketchbook is 8 by 10. Here's a closer look at the texture of the paper. And these four sketchbooks here, they were made with Lana Aquarelle watercolor paper, the watercolor paper that is made in France. Binding is excellent here as well. This is about A5 size. I have a Hanamole A5 size watercolor journal and they are about the same size. So this is a very portable size for keeping in your bag, for bringing it around. Let's take a look at the watercolor paper. This is cold press paper. The texture is not as coarse compared to the indigo paper. And I can see that this paper, this indigo paper, this is whiter compared to the Lana paper. This is a bit off white. And all these sketchbooks, they have this pocket behind, which I got them to make. It's a very big pocket. So you can keep stuff like paper, receipts, and bookmarks, or anything that is flat in the pocket. So these are the four colors that I have, purple, black, green, and blue. One of the advantages of binding your own sketchbook is you can choose the paper that you want. For example, this sketchbook was also bound by SPD. For this sketchbook, I use Fabrano Studio watercolor paper, which is 25% cotton paper. And with good watercolor paper, you can achieve effects like this. The very soft blending of colors from one to the other. With normal cellulose sketchbook, it's very difficult to achieve um, such color blends. Most watercolor sketchbooks that are sold, they do not use cotton paper. So certain types of watercolor techniques are very difficult to achieve on those paper. For example, here I have a Hanamune watercolor sketchbook, which uses cellulose or wood pulp paper. Using wet on wet techniques on this paper, it's very difficult because um, the paper doesn't absorb the water as well compared to cotton paper. For example, here, take a look at this. Here, I wanted to blend the color into the white of the paper and it's very difficult to do so. You can see some blending happening, but the transition between the color into the white of the paper, it's quite abrupt. With cotton watercolor paper the transition will be very soft very gradual and very beautiful so here it's a bit too abrupt for me they are quite pricey but definitely worth the money i'll be keeping them for special occasions like for my overseas sketching trips and speaking of sketching trips i have one coming up in october i'll be going to the asia link sketch walk which is happening in taichung in taiwan from october 3rd to the 8th so they have invited me to go there and cover their event so i'll be making videos daily so be sure to subscribe to my channel to follow those videos all right enough talk let's go sketch i think i'm going to sketch here from where i'm standing this is a very shady spot and right at the back we have some good light and shadows happening a lovely tree there 
and this is a lovely street scene. I can sit right here at the curb to draw this. This is the completed pen and ink sketch. And now I'm going to color it. All right, so this is my completed sketch. I use cerulean blue for the light grays. For the darker grays, I use French ultramarine. I'm going home now. Today has been a pretty productive day. I did one sketch, went down to collect the sketchbook. In the morning, I recorded some YouTube videos as well. And today, I do not have to rush off to work unlike my other videos. So um, it's a pretty relaxing day for sketching. So that's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.